During the second week of development, the inner cell mass will flatten to become an embryonic disc composed of several layers. The hypoblast, columnar cells which will eventually compose the endoderm and yolk sac, and cuboidal cells of the epiblast, which will eventually compose ectoderm and the amnion. The cells of the trophoblast become the extra embryonic membrane known as the chorion. These are embryonic cells, but they will not make up part of the embryo's body. They are an extra embryonic membrane. These will form the fetal part of the placenta, which exchanges nutrients with maternal blood. Also, the chorion secretes HCG, the human chorionic gonadotropin, and the chorion will suppress the mother's immune system so that the mother's immune system does not attack the embryo. Around day eight, cells of the hypoblast contribute to the formation of the extra embryonic membrane known as the yolk sac. Invertebrates which develop in eggs, obviously the yolk is extremely important since it is the source of the nutrition which will sustain the embryo. In live-bearing mammals and humans, the yolk sac does not perform this function, although it does serve for the formation of the first blood cells, the formation of the germ cells which will ultimately migrate to the gonads uh, for reproduction, and a few other minor functions before it degenerates. Eight days after fertilization, the cells of the epiblast contribute to the formation of an extra embryonic membrane known as the amnion. The amniotic sac will eventually surround the entire embryo and fetus and be filled with an amniotic fluid. This fluid originates as a filtrate from maternal blood, but later urine secreted by the fetus will contribute as well. This amniotic fluid prevents the fetus from drying out, prevents tissues from adhering to fetal cells, and will help absorb shock. And it was the development of the amnion which helped the mammals, birds, and reptiles, the group known as the amniotes, to reproduce on land rather than in water as amphibians do. Beginning 12 days after development, a space develops between the chorion and the amnion yolk sac and embryo known as the extra embryonic coelom.